Lawmakers are being urged to revamp the state's parole system, which a new report from the New Jersey Office of the Public Defender calls fundamentally flawed and broken. The office finds inmates have a lack of legal representation at all stages of the parole process, are being denied parole despite having near-perfect records, or get their parole revoked not because they've committed a new crime, but because they're unable to find stable housing or a job. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. The parole board has more power than the judge, the jury, the prosecutor, the police officers. Al Tariq Witcher and other members of the returning citizen support group remember how they felt standing before Jersey's parole board with no lawyer, no advocate, not even a copy of the evidence in their file. It's like you're going in front of a firing squad. <laughs> you, you don't know what's going to happen. You're going in to plead for your life. I feel... Personally, I thought I was going to die in prison. Honestly, I thought I was going to die in prison. Raymond Jackson served 25 years, had a sterling prison record, volunteering with AIDS groups, hospice, and palliative care programs. His parole got denied. It's absolutely a dice roll. No ifs, ands, and buts about that. It's just how to feel that day. When a parolee goes before the parole board, they're essentially procedurally naked. They don't have counsel, and it really is an adversarial proceeding. Joe Russo is an assistant New Jersey public defender who wrote the latest revised parole project report on the system. It shows that despite an expectation of release in parole hearings, only about 53 percent of cases were granted parole in 2020, 40 percent in 2019, and about 43 percent in 2018. Russo calls the process a stacked deck. For example, the board does not share confidential reports with defendants. You're being deprived of access to the information that the parole board is using against you, including, for example, psychological reports. The report notes board members don't take age into account, but should, because older parolees rarely reoffend. Instead, the board weighs intangibles like a defendant's remorse, including complaints that they haven't apologized to victims. Problem is, they can't. It's against the rules and regulations for you to write the victim and express your remorse but yet they use this as an excuse to deny guys parole. The parole board has too much power. Chino Ortiz served 30 years. He ticked off reasons some defendants got denied parole, no home address, no ID card. And if the parole board thinks applicants might commit more crimes if they're released, it can add extra years, called hits, to an inmate's sentence. And that's too much power when you're giving people not one hit, not two hits, not three hits, but sometimes four and five hits. The legislature needs to address this inequity, this injustice that has been going on too long. It's very defeating to go before the pro board and get a substantial hit and knowing you're not gonna be able to be seen for potential release for, for years to come. So that's very, very defeating. Russo says the report also shows deep inequities. Black inmates comprise 59% of Jersey's prison population, but only 15% statewide. And when parolees are accused of violations, the only proceedings where they can get a lawyer, 73% of those sent back behind bars are people of color. What does it say about the system? that it's broken and that it needs to be reimagined. Those are the stories that we hear over and over again. New Jersey's public defender says she's well aware of the grassroots push to keep inmates locked up in the name of reducing crime. She says it shouldn't be a choice of prison or parole. I think there needs to be some fundamental change to our current parole system. Um, things like having legal counsel when you're going up for a parole decision, um, things like really investing in reentry. Her office sent a copy of the report to the board, which told us the state parole board's unable to offer comment as the revised report's currently under review by the board. The public defender will now get to work drafting legislation designed to enact some of the reforms recommended in the report and hopefully fix the system. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.